How's it going, my fellow collectors? Today we have two dragons by McFarland Toys. We have Cyrax and Caraxes from Game of Thrones House of the Dragon. So, let's get right to it, shall we? So as I said, we have two dragons. We have Cyrax and Caraxes from Game of Thrones House of the Dragon by McFarlane Toys. Now, if you're new to the channel, you don't know that I've already I've done Daenerys' three dragons by McFarlane Toys, and one of them is still one arguably one of my most popular videos, surprisingly enough, and that's obviously the McFarlane Toys Drogon. Now I didn't get the regular Rhaegal, or no, the regular Viserion. I got the Ice King's Viserion, so technically I don't have all of them, but. Here we have Cyrax by McFarlane Toys, by Rhaenyra Tar who is a mount of Rhaenyra Targaryen. The, obviously one of the main characters of House of the Dragon. This estimates at 5.5 inches tall, 15 inches wide. It's got a really cool base. Now it doesn't look like these are as like um, positionable or um, like articulate as the, the Daenerys ones. These ones look like they actually have a, like, a really nice base, so let's get it open. And check it out. Q time lapse. Alright, so camera died sometime after unboxing Cyrax and I did not notice, and I also unboxed Caraxes. So, we'll be doing this slightly different. So, I'm going to be going back over Cy uh, Cyrax, then we'll do Caraxes, but it's already going to be out of the box, unfortunately. So, here we have Cyrax. It was a tiny bit difficult to assemble, but it turns out it was just me. I wasn't being forceful enough on the tail uh, into here. Uh, into the back, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Cyrax is Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Princess Rhaenyra uh, became a dragon rider at the age of seven, bonding closely with the golden Cyrax, so named after a goddess of old Valeria. Though not the biggest of the Targaryen dragons, Cyrax is fast enough to race Daemon Targaryen's dragon, Caraxes, to Dragonstone and back. I will tell you this, the detail on Cyra uh, Cyrax is so good. It's like absolutely amazing detail. Need to get that tail or that uh, wing a little bit in there, but um, I love the scale pattern and the membrane on the wings. The, like the and I love how um, in the House of Dragon, all the dragons look slightly different. So Cyrax looks different than Caraxes, and all of them have slight differences that are absolutely amazing. I love how like this one obviously looks. At least the closest, at least not the head-wise, um, to uh, Daenerys' dragons, but besides that, looks the closest. Like, I love Cyrax's, like, head, um, head horns. They're just, like, straight back, almost kind of like dreads. And they just look absolutely fantastic. I like how they're, fl uh, uh, like, they're flat. I don't know, I can't remember if they go up in the show. But it looks absolutely amazing, especially the detail. The coloring is good. The eyes on Cyrax are vi uh, bright, vibrant blue, which is just so cool. The base is really nice. Um, it is um, very lightweight plastic, so be aware of that. And it's just an absolutely amazing. So definitely a 10 out of 10 dragon, which technically isn't a dragon. It's a wyvern because wyverns don't have the front legs. They only have the wings and the back legs. And dragons have four legs and wings. So difference in there. But... Absolutely amazing, super cool, absolutely amazing, 10 out of 10, the coloring is super cool. Alright, so now on to the next one, which we have Caraxes. I'll show the box and then I'll show Caraxes. 
So if you also don't know McFarlane Toys, which is the studio or the company that made these, it is started by Todd McFarlane and is actually the founder of Spawn or the creator of Spawn. And he wasn't happy with toy companies, so he created McFarlane Toys. So here we have the box that it was in. Measures in at 4.5 inches and 11 or a, a 14, oh no, measures at 4.5 inches tall and 14 and a half inches wide. And boy, does Caraxes look absolutely amazing. So, wait, where did I put that? Oh, here we have it. So, unfortunately, Caraxes kind of needs a base um, to be put on because his wing sticks a little bit down too far. So, that's why I have it on this box that has like a fan in it. Still looks absolutely amazing, though. So here we have Caraxes, uh, Ryder, Daemon Targaryen, fiercest of all the young dragons in the dragon pit. Caraxes was once the mount of Prince Aemon Targaryen, son of Jaceres and uncle to both Daemon and Viserys I. But he became Daemon's mount by the year of 105 AC. Nicknamed the Bloodworm for both his coloring and his brutal tendencies, he is a savage, cunning, and battle-tested. Caraxes has a noticeable appetite for battle and for blood. I love how different Caraxes looks to Cyrax. The coloring on him is absolutely amazing and I feel like Caraxes has to be more maneuverable because he has wings on his legs, man. It's absolutely amazing and also his tail is so much different than Cyrax. He's got these really long tendrils coming off of his tail. So awesome. One thing about these tails are you've got to really force them in and screw them in and then they'll tighten up. Um, I thought I was going to break it, but then I didn't. One thing about this, though, is that it was really hard getting on the base because there's this little peg on the wing and it just doesn't line up all that well. So I had to kind of flex the peg a little bit. So be aware of that. One thing is, though, is that he just looks absolutely amazing. And also the bases are slightly different colors, too. So you've got... Um, Cyrax, who's from the Dragon Pit at um, um, the Red Keep, or um, why can't I remember the name? King's Landed, which has like lighter colored rocks, and then you have Caraxes, which has the darker colored rocks from Dragonstone. So, absolutely amazing difference. Just the coloring on these two is absolutely fantastic. So, absolutely amazing. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. We are currently at 580 subscribers, so we are trying to get to 1,000. So if you like this video uh, and you like my channel, check it out. Um, please subscribe. It'd be absolutely amazing to um, share this with your friends if you like. A couple things as well. I have a cosplay and 3D printing channel that I'll leave a link, link in the description down below. Currently, I just finished my Bloodborne and Red Hood cosplay that I'll be doing for Andy Minneapolis on May 25th which is for the whole weekend. So don't ex may there might not be a video on Friday. Maybe I'll do a video of how I'm packing up all that stuff. Um, but on here, I'll probably not be doing a video because there'll be three vlogs coming out um, a couple days or literally the day after. Who knows? I don't know. You can also check out my Twitter where I really try to post sneak peeks one to two days beforehand, but sometimes I just forget. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. As always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.